Welcome back. Uh, let's look at uh, developing a regression forecast um, using an interaction term. Uh, you can see the, the data on the, the screen and I've gone ahead and, and created some scatter plots of the independent variables of price and advertising expenditure with the dependent or response variable of sales. And so you can see the the relationship here at an advertising expenditure of 50,000. See the range of sales and 100,000. Also that range. And then for a, a price, a sales price, you can see the range at these three different price points. So let's develop a model and see what it, what it looks like for modeling sales as a function of price and advertising expenditures. So from data, data analysis, regression, our Y range is going to be the, the sales column here. And our X range is going to be these two columns, our price and advertising expenditures in thousands. And notice that I did select the, uh, the labels mm -hmm. as, the, uh, as the first row. And that's very useful. And I'm going to put this as a worksheet, we'll just call it Model 1. Okay, so here's the output for Model 1. Uh, we can see that overall the model uh, is uh, a very small p value. Uh, we can see that um, just at r squared, about 80 roughly 84 percent. We can see uh, the different variables in our model price and advertising expenditures. Uh, significant here. And so our, our model would be that sales in thousands is equal to intercept minus uh, 281 times the price plus 4.48 times advertising expenditures in thousands. Well, let's see if we can do any better if we add an interaction term. So let me go to this page which I've created and added a column that could hold this interaction of price and advertising expenditures. In Excel all the X values need to be in contiguous cells. So I can just create this interaction by taking price times advertising expenditures uh, copying that down the, the column here and then creating another another model. Our uh, Y range is going to be again sales. Our X range is the two variables and their interaction term. Uh, again I have labels and we'll just call this model Two, and see how it does. So if we look quickly at the model, and the model overall is uh, very significant. Very good R squared of uh, 94, 95 percent. Uh, significant uh, p values on the individual terms of price, advertising expenditures, and the interaction of those two. And then you can see the model coefficients. Uh, that's it. See you next time.